Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make acorn bread. Recently, I posted a video on how to process acorns and make acorn flour. If you wanna watch that, click the I up here and you'll be able to watch that. And I'll put a link down below where you can find it as well. And so, let's say you have this acorn flour that you made, now what are you gonna do with it? Well, I made a video on how to make acorn blueberry muffins uh, before, and now I'm gonna show you how to make an acorn bread with that acorn flour. It's really simple to do, easy ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get baking. All right, this is a yeast-based dough. So what we're gonna do is we need to start our yeast. I have one cup of water here, and I heated that up to about 105 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna add in about a, a teaspoon of our sugar. Just stir that sugar around a little bit. This will act as food for the yeast. And let's add in our yeast, two and one fourth teaspoons of active dry yeast, or if you buy it in the, the little packets, one packet. Okay, and I'm just gonna agitate it just a little bit. All right. And then let's just go ahead and let this sit for about 10 minutes so it can do its thing. It's gonna get all nice and frothy and foamy. And if after 10 minutes it's not foamy or frothy, that means the yeast is bad, it was old, or maybe the water was too hot or not hot enough, so you need to start again. And now what we want to do is I'll take a, a larger bowl here. I'm going to go ahead and pour in the yeast mixture. Let's go ahead and add in our sh the rest of our sugar. This was one third cup of sugar. If you want your bread to be a little less sweet, just use it one fourth cup of sugar instead of one third. And then what we want to do is we want to add in our two tablespoons of oil. You can use vegetable oil, olive oil, coconut oil. And then I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of honey. And now, I have three cups of bread flour, but I'm not gonna add it all in. I'm just gonna do about a cup worth. And let's just use a wooden spoon and mix this together. And now the star of our show, uh, I have one half cup of my acorn flour. Put that in there. And then let's do another cup of our bread flour. And then on top of that, let's add in our one teaspoon of salt, iodized salt. And let's go ahead and just get this all mixed in. Oh yeah, acorn bread. And remember, anytime you're making yeast breads, you don't wanna just dump in all the flour because you may not need to use it all. Let's add in some more flour. And so you just use your hands. If you're using a stand mixer, go ahead and use that. But you get to the point where it's fairly, it's still gonna be a little sticky, but enough to where you can work with it. And now let's take some more of our flour dust our surface, whatever surface we are using, your table or countertop. Dump your dough out on there. Awesome, gather it all up. And then we're going to just take it, fold it over, push down, turn it, half a quarter turn. Take it, fold it like that, push down. And then you're gonna add flour as necessary because this is gonna get sticky probably. And you knead the dough for eight minutes. After about eight minutes, your dough will be done. And look, I had about, probably about a half cup of bread flour left over that I'm not gonna use and that's totally fine. I'm gonna set that aside. And then what you wanna do, oh, I love yeast-based dough. All right, so I'm gonna, I have a big bowl here. It's the same one, I just washed it out. And then I have a generous, generous amount of oil in there, about a teaspoon or worth. And just go ahead and oil the sides, your fingers. 
and then take your dough and move that around in there. And now we want to let this, we want to cover it and let it rise. And this towel is a damp towel, but because here in Arizona, it's really dry. Um, if you live in a humid area, you probably don't have to use a damp towel, just cover it. And we're gonna let it rise for about an hour, hour and a half until it doubles or triples in size. Or if you have a dough proofer, you can put it in your dough proofer for about an hour and that'll do the trick as well. All right, it's been about 90 minutes. Let's go ahead and check in on our dough. Yeah, look at that. It rose fantastically. It always makes me happy to see that my dough has risen. Great. Now what we'll, what we'll do is um, We'll just take the dough, punch it down a little bit, and then just pour it out here. You probably won't need any extra flour on the table because of the oil that we used. And just kind of shape it into a loaf like this. And we'll take a bread loaf pan. This is a uh, five by nine uh, bread loaf pan. And just go ahead and put it in there like that, perfect. And then you'll just go ahead and cover it back up with your towel or you can put it in your dough proofer and we're gonna let it rise for a, another hour. All right, it's been about another hour. Let's go ahead and look. Our dough has risen again really nicely. And now what we do is we preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 Celsius. And we go ahead and put this in the oven and bake it for about 30 to 35 minutes. We'll check it at about 30 minutes. And if it's getting too brown on top, go ahead and put some foil over it and then let it bake for another about five minutes. And it should be ready to go. And when it comes out of the oven, it'll look something like this. Nice hard outer crust. It smells fantastic. And just let it sit and cool for a, a few minutes. And then what we'll do is we will take a, like a cookie rack and we'll just go ahead and boom, like that. And we'll just let it cool the rest of the way until we want to cut into it. Sometimes I cut into it where it, when it's still fairly warm and then uh, put some butter on it and the butter melts, oh yeah. All right, and let me cut into this and show you what it looks like. Oh yeah. Look at that. That look awesome. Yummy, smells really good. You can see the little parts of the, the bigger acorn grits. All right, that's how you make my acorn bread. Super easy to do, super yummy. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into the slice. Oh yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm.